Hello guys, welcome back to Being Engineers. This is my second video on the tutorial series. In the previous video, we have discussed about various electronic components. I will suggest you to go back to the previous tutorial if you haven't if you haven't watched it yet. Now, in this video, I will tell you about switches and LEDs, and finally we will make some circuit to demonstrate their working. Now. For this experiment and tutorial, you will need these elements or these components. This is the hookup wire, jumper, battery clip, 9 volt battery, 5M LEDs of 4 color, RGB LEDs, bicolor LEDs, 220 ohm resistance, quarter watt, 3 volt coin cell, wire stripper, breadboard. And a micro switch. So first of all, if we look at the LED, this is a LED. Let me zoom. So this is a LED, 5 mm LED. You can see that one LED has two legs one is longer leg and another is shorter the longer leg is a positive terminal shorter is the negative terminal that is the longer is the anode shorter is the cathode so if we put the positive charge in the positive positive terminal of the battery in the longer leg and the shorter leg if you connect it to the negative terminal of the battery the LED will glow now we will check it by connecting with a 3 volt coin, sub, coin cell This is a 3 volt coin cell. The flat smooth surface is plus, it is written here, and this rough surface is negative. So, if you connect the positive lead here and the negative lead on the back side of the battery, you can see the LED is glowing. Now, take a look at this micro switch. This is a micro switch. These are four terminals. Let me show you. This is four terminals, four pins you can see. These pins are actually opened in normal condition. And if you press this blue button here, these pins will be sorted internally. So you really, we can represent a switch by the schematic diagram like this so if this is the two terminal and this is the blue button so norm, in normal condition the but uh, switch will be off because there is no connection between this terminal now we will push this button downwards it pre touches these terminals and the circuit is closed and this that is the terminal this this is the anode side this is the cathode side to make the led glow we have to connect it to the positive terminal of the battery and the negative cathode side we have to connect it to the negative terminal of the battery then the led will start glowing and this arrow denotes that this is not a normal diode, this is light emitting diode. Now let's make a circuit. Connect the battery clip into battery. The upper row of the breadboard, I'm considering it as a ground, so I'm correcting the black wire to the upper row, and the red wire I'm connecting it to the sorry, lower rail. So the power is connected. Now this is a regulator, 
this regulates the 9 volt power to the 5 volt i will talk in it in the later videos maybe in the next tutorial by this time ignore that part i am taking the 5 volt output from this ic and connecting it to the micro switch So the connection is done now let's connect the LED we have connected the 5 volt to the one terminal of the micro switch so we have to connect the positive terminal of the LED to the other side so that if we press this button the whole circuit will be completed and then we have to connect the negative side or the cathode side of the LED to the negative rail cathode of the LED to the negative rail of the breadboard but the LED is not glowing till now because this circuit is in this open position now if I press this button look the LED is glowing that means the circuit is in this position when I am pressing this button okay that's how a micro switch and the LED circuit can be made. We can replace it by any color of LED. This is red LED. Look how the LED is glowing when I'm pressing the button. So this is the print principle of working of a micro switch and the LED. Now I want to show you something better with the bicolor LED. This has three terminals. You can look one longer and two shorter. The longer terminal is the common positive terminal, and the other two is one for one cathode for red color, and another cathode is for green color. Let me make a circuit for this to demonstrate. Connected the positive terminal or the longer leg of the bicolor LED to the 5 volt and now i have to connect the negative terminals this jumper this is one cathode now if we connect it to the negative rail look the led is glowing with red color and now if you connect this jumper to the another cathode it will glow in another color how to connect a rgb led in a circuit a rgb led has four leads it's four leads. the longer one is the common and common cathode sorry and the shorter one are the different anodes for different colors red green and blue so let me connect the longer cathode to the negative rail of the battery it's connected now as we are not using any micro switch so we have to connect a current limited resistor this is a 220 ohm current limiting resistor then connect it to the 5 volt rail this is a 5 volt where I am connecting from the IC. Now, if you connect the register to the open cathodes, the LED should glow. Look, this is glowing in blue. If you put the jumper in the next row, the next cathode, it will glow in red. Sorry, green. If you put the jumper in the next cathode, it will glow in green. And if you put the cathode in the, and if you put, and now 
if I put the jumper in the next cathode, the LED will glow in red. Okay, that's how the RGB LED works. So hope you will understand the working of LED and switches and can make some circuits by your own. In this video, that's it. And the next video, I will explain how the voltage regulator, this voltage regulator works and how to get regulate voltage by these ICs of 7886 and 7986. How to smoothen up the DC, how to make a circuit with this. So let's see you in the next video. Till then. Bye.